and welcome to video 3 of section 2, optimizing a simple model in pure Theano. In the previous video, we talked about what is Theano, a Python framework for evaluating mathematical expressions that is really popular for deep learning. In this video, we will talk about a simple single layer mean square error regression. We will define the optimization problem in Theano. And finally, we will optimize all the parameters efficiently with Theano without needing to move parameters back and forth to the GPU, in case we are using one. If not, this still helps us to avoid moving data unnecessarily within the CPU memory. Here we have our IPython notebook loaded up using the packages we are going to use. We are going to use NumPy and Theano for calculations and Matplotlib for visualization. It uses the same Anaconda environment we defined before. We start by generating random numbers x and two parameters w and b. All the parameters are here. The objective signal here is simply d equals w times x plus b. But during training, our model will only have access to a noisy version of the desired signal given by y equals d plus n. This is to simulate some real environment, run this cell, and in the next one, we have a visualization of the signals we just generated. The red line is the desired d, and the blue points are the observed y. In Theano, we start by defining two symbolic vectors, x and y. We will use capital letters as a convention to the Theano symbolic variables and lowercase letters for NumPy arrays. The parameters we want to optimize should be shared variables because they have to live in memory, either in the CPU or GPU memory. And we want to change them in place to be faster. Here are the parameters we are going to optimize. These values inside here are the values that we initialize these shared variables with. The output of our model is z equals capital W times capital X plus B. This is a symbolic expression. And the cost function is just the mean squared error between our desired signal y and our output z. In this last line, we are putting the parameters that we want to optimize in the list. Okay. With w.getValue, we move the shared variable from Theano to a regular Python array. Here we print just w to show that it is actually a Theano shared variable. To change that value, we have to define a Theano function and pass it an extra updates list. This list contains shared variable new value pairs. In our example, we want to the new value of w to be twice the previous one, just for simplicity. Running the cell to compile the function. After compiling this function w, calling it, and getting the value from w again, we see that it is twice the previous value, just as we defined. Here, we use this idea of changing variables in place to optimize the parameters of our model. In this code, we are not exactly using backpropagation, since we only have one layer, but the idea is the same. We calculate the gradients of the cost function, cost, with respect to the parameters w, and we update these parameters using the rule, the new value of the previous parameter is just that value minus a step in the direction of the gradient scaled by a learning rate variable. Finally, we compile our function with the appropriate updates, but we have to pass the inputs necessary to calculate these updates. And here we are going to do just that. These necessary inputs are the function actual inputs x and the desired 